Now, Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. A good afternoon. Happy Friday. Yeah, it's been a pretty wet few days here across the coastal bend, and we are going to dry out as we head into the weekend, but there's still a little rain in our forecast, so keep an eye on the weather. Meanwhile, take a look at these numbers. Wow, we have really uh, jumped on our rain totals. For the month of June, here we are, the only, only the fourth day of June. We're up to 2.09 at the airport. That's an inch and seven-tenths uh, above normal and also for the year we're almost to 19 inches which is eight inches above normal well all that rain we had yesterday we did pick up almost 1.3 just yesterday alone that has caused some river floodings we had the heaviest rain uh, to the west in the watershed which was good uh, but it's causing some problems on the rivers as they continue to come up the Nueces River for example near three rivers is going to be a moderate flood stage tomorrow uh, as we see go into the weekend they will be running high but that's also good news news for our water supply. As you know, we've been in these water restrictions and when we hit 50 percent is when we dropped the water restrictions. Well, today's combined total was at 49.7 and still rising from all that rain yesterday. Pretty big jump from just a month ago. Last year, by the way, at this time we were at 51 percent. So always good news to see the lakes filling up. Well, it was a beautiful start to the day after all that rain last night. It, it kept our atmosphere stable behind that system when we started the day dry with a nice sunrise in Kingsville and then some blue sky mixing with clouds this afternoon as those clouds have been increasing. It's still pretty dry out there, but there will be a couple of showers. 83 at Kingsville is calm right now. There's hardly any wind blowing. 83 at Beeville and also at uh, Rockport, 82 degrees. Only a south breeze at 7 miles an hour. You don't see that too often here in the coastal bay. 84 degrees in Corpus Christi, calm winds. Yeah, that's unusual, but that's going to change this weekend. All right, so as we look at our radar and satellite combined, you'll notice that it's still looking pretty dry out there, but as we go through the next few hours, we'll see a couple of showers develop or a or thunder shower. But notice it's nothing like yesterday. This stuff is going to be extremely hit and miss across the area, and not many of us are going to get this rain, but there could be a few spots that get a good downpour through this evening. And then again in the morning, there might be a couple of showers hugging the coast, and then in the afternoon, a few more popping up over land. So uh, overall, we are looking at a downward trend here in our rainfall. And the reason for that is that the upper low is moving, or will be moving away from us. So tomorrow's forecast, hey, we're going to start off nice and mild in the morning, 69 degrees at 7 o'clock. Yeah, very comfortable morning tomorrow. And notice how light the winds are again, only picking up to near 12 miles an hour in the afternoon with isolated thunder showers and that temperature reaching 85 or 86 for the high temperature in Corpus Christi tomorrow. So mid to upper 80s in many areas. And at the beaches, it'll be in the lower to mid 80s, so warm at the beaches as well. Tomorrow, it's Texas Free Fishing Day. You can fish on any water body, uh, body of water in Texas tomorrow without a fishing license. You might want to take advantage of that. And uh, for that, we only have that slight thunderstorm chance. Winds up to 15 knots late in the day, and waters will be smooth to slightly choppy. So not bad out there to catch those fish. Well, that upper level low, that's the one we've been talking about the past few days. When these move in, they cause rising air motions, picking up moisture too from the south, and that tends to give us rain, which we've seen plenty of. Now you can see that we still have that moisture wrapping around that low, go moving up from the south, so that rain chance is still there. But as the low moves away from us, we start to get out of that vorticity or those little blobs you're seeing there. And so Sunday looks like a drier day, but there is another little wave coming in Monday, and that one could spark a couple of showers Monday. So with that, here is your seven-day forecast. You can see, well, so much for the cooler weather. We are going to heat back up and get back to normal here. Uh, by early next week, we're touching 90 degrees, which is normal. Also, that rain chance Monday, scattered thunderstorms Monday, and then breezy, hot, and humid as we get into the middle of next week. We're going to be talking about heat indices that feels like temperature will climb over 100 degrees. Great.